look at me in Christmas mode. I am gonna talk a little bit softly because Noel is sleeping and we don't mess with that. We do not mess with that. Uh, so yeah, I'm just gonna do a little vlog today. No idea how this is gonna go. I haven't really vlogged since having the baby. Uh, my mom's gonna come over later, so hopefully um, that will help a little bit. But yeah, I'm just gonna randomly vlog today. I I, nothing is even on the agenda, really. Um, right now, I have to paint my nails because she's sleeping, and this is the only time I can really get it done. So I recently gave up the salon appointments because it was literally like the worst part of my month. I would go like once a month and I would dread it so bad. Even before having a baby, I was just like, I don't wanna go. Like it just is so much of my day and it's just annoying, not enjoyable. So I decided to finally give up the nail appointments and I've just been doing my nails at home. They don't look that great, but you know, they're fine. What is going on? I'm trying to have a nice ambiance and I get a commercial. The fireplace is back, sorry about that. Uh, but yeah, so I've just been doing my nails at home. Today I'm using these Essie polishes. And yeah, I ordered the Static brand. I think they're called like Liquid Glass. And they're supposed to be really amazing, but they didn't come in the mail yet. Um, I was gonna try the Dashing Diva, which are like the nail strips. I have like the world's smallest fingers. Like all my fingers are like the exact same size. So like the strips don't work for me. I have to like order like 10 packs to get enough. And it's just, it didn't work out for me. So nail polish it is. I got my baby monitor set up and everyone just say a prayer that she will remain sleeping while I do this. And this is not a tutorial by the way, because I'm the world's worst, like truly. I saw this thing, it's like called like the Italian manicure or something. And it's like, you don't go to the edges and it's supposed to make your nails look longer but I mainly just do it because I suck at getting the edges. <laughs> but we're gonna call it Italian. Also, don't judge my like stained nails. They were just red before this, so I wasn't really gonna worry about it if there was like red marks left over. And I'm sure somebody's gonna be like, oh my God, you have to use a base coat. No, I don't. <laughs> I don't have time for base coats. If you are an OG follower of mine, like I'm talking like 2000, early 2010s, I used to always do my own nails when I was in college. And I would do like nail polish favorite videos, which is so funny. So maybe I'll bring it back if I can ever become good at this. Some of you are probably alarmed that I'm doing red, but I actually really love red nails. It just makes me feel like a chic Parisian woman. All right, we're gonna do one more coat real quick. And then this, one of you guys actually recommend this to me. It's called the Gel Setter Top Coat. It is like thick and it really makes your nails look like gel polish, like that like really thick effect, if you know what I mean. And it actually dries pretty fast, which I was concerned because when you put it on, it's like, oh, she thick. But she dries fast too. But it does not give you the durability of gel polish, unfortunately, in my experience. I only tried it with a Sally Hansen nail polish so far, so maybe I'll do better with like the coordinating Essie polish, but we'll see. I'm frazzled. I'm mouth breathing. I have a sinus infection for like a month straight because I refuse to take antibiotics. Oh my God, there's a fuss. Why is there a fuss? Get out. Normally I would stick my hands in the freezer because I read that that makes them like harden faster and dry faster. But it's snowing out and it's windy, so I feel like that, that is even better than a freezer. So catch me outside, <laughs> how about that? You don't see nail techs recommending this, this product. Okay, 
So I managed to get them to dry without smudging and they look pretty good. I don't know if you can pick up on camera like how like kind of like thick and shiny they are. Don't mind the parts that are on my cuticles that'll come off once I wash my hands, but I think they look pretty good. And just in time because Noelle is awake. <laughs> So I'm gonna go grab her. Ah, baby. Ooh. Did you have a nice nap? You wanna go get some coffee? A cup of coffee? So her nap was pretty short this morning. So when she does that, because you never know what you're gonna get with her. It's literally a crapshoot. You don't know if she's gonna sleep for an hour, hour and a half, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, 40 minutes, you don't know. So if it's short, then usually what I'll do is I'll just pretty much get her ready to go and we'll hop in the car and we'll go to the store, go get coffee, something like that, because sometimes she'll fall back asleep and then she doesn't have to take such an uh, early second nap because she's wanting to only do two naps a day now. And I don't like when she's up from like 1 p.m. for the rest of the day. <laughs> so I'm just gonna change really quick. And we're gonna head out, ma'am. The moment of truth with nail polish is if you're putting your leggings on and like trying to like pull them up and they don't smudge. I mean, I did them less than 30 minutes ago, so they didn't smudge and that's that's all I need. That's all I need. I'm just gonna spray some Leto Vanilla Nera. Um, a lot of you guys ask me if this can be worn in the daytime because like our marketing is very nighttime absolutely can be worn uh, daytime as well. I wear it every day. So I would say cold weather daytime, this is appropriate, or any nighttime, any time of the year. Whew, I am like so out of breath because I'm like congested. Velcro roller in a sock. <laughs> That's all she needs to be happy. <laughs> so fingers crossed she will take a little nap uh, so she's not as miserable. I feel like the thing is about being a mom, especially at like a stay-at-home mom. I'm a stay-at-home mom, but I also am a working mom. It's, I feel like it's like complicated. But anyways, every day is so different, yet it's like the exact same. Like you never know what you're gonna get day to day, but the day is essentially you're living the same day every day, which can make you a little bit stir crazy. So I always try to leave the house once a day. It doesn't always happen, but I notice a huge difference in both of us. Like if we get out at least once for the day, whether it's just like to the store or even if we don't even get out of the car, we just go to, you know, the Dunkin' or Starbucks drive through we're just both in better spirits is what I tell myself. <laughs> I'm mainly out here getting a coffee. That's like my main thing. But I really do feel like she gets less like antsy and bored when we leave the house. Hello everyone, I'm back doing my makeup. Uh, everything is rushed. Mom life is rushed. So yes, I got home and I remembered that I have to uh, film some stories later. So I just wanted to throw on some makeup. I'll show you guys everything that's on my face. Technique wise, I never do anything different. So if you saw my mom makeup routine back in, uh, I think it was like September, it's like the same thing except for now. I've been using the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter underneath my Lawless Powder as foundation. And then I've really been loving the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind in the brightener shade underneath my eyes. Uh, I mentioned both of those things in my recent favorite, my recent favorites video. So yeah, I don't really do anything like different. Like sometimes I use different products. Like today I'm going to use this uh, Patrick Ta blush because this is more like wintry, and I was more tan in that video, and I don't even remember what I used. But yes, I've been loving those few products. And for eyeshadow, this is actually new. I got this sent to me in the mail. It's this little YSL mini clutch palette. It's adorable and it's like the perfect shade. So I just slap this on really quick. If you guys thought I was like quick and messy with my makeup before having a kid, oh, you only want to know. 
you don't even want to be like in my bathroom with me now i mean now you are here it is i just go so sloppily and so fast but it like literally doesn't even matter like i'm gonna use the same brush and i'm gonna use the highlight color underneath like nothing matters we don't have time for like a 10 step routine and the star of this palette is definitely this shimmery shade up here i'm just gonna put it all over and this is the shade 300 by the way okay so i did everything but my lips because i'm gonna do my hair and i don't want like my lip getting all over my face because that's happened before it's not the worst when you have like lip gloss or lipstick and then you have like one hair and it like drags it across your face it's like the worst experience of life anyways <laughs> um i'm gonna try the uh like blowout hack so basically what you do is you put your hair in a ponytail me as a person is this hair tie this one that's really stretched out <laughs> i'm gonna break it in a second that's me that's all of us in the month of december right or all of us as moms, I should say. So basically what you do is you just curl your hair. Uh, first you do your bangs and then you take each like part of the ponytail, curl it and then pin it. And then you like let it sit and then supposedly you take it out and it's amazing. So um, I'm gonna use my air wrap, but you can use like a curling iron too. I do hope the results are worth it because this seems challenging. I mean, maybe you have to do it a few times to get the hang of it. Let's do the touchable hairspray. I'm going to let this set for, I think they say 20 minutes, and we'll see what it looks like. Now for the moment of truth, I'm going to take everything out. We're going to see if these tiktokers and instagrammers if they were right because sometimes i feel like they're faking it like i know you guys probably think that about me too but i don't trust people like i feel like you're touching it up and you're curling it off camera the bangs are probably going to be horrendous because they just are permanently bad Definitely got some volume. Okay, so I love how everything but my bangs look, but that's not the fault of the hack. That's just my own fault for cutting them. But I love how bouncy the ends are. So I'm just gonna tuck my bangs behind my ears for right now and hopefully they'll chill out. Uh, but I'm going to go in and do a red lip. The liner I'm using is Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencil in the shade Either Cherry. So if you're doing a red lip, always, always use a liner. Otherwise, you're going to look like you had too many Christmas cocktails, if you know what I mean. I don't know if I love this liner. It's it's not like drying down. So uh, honestly, just get like a drugstore one. I know the 
Revlon color today as a really good drugstore one. But I wanted to try this Maybelline vinyl. It's supposed to be like kind of a glossy red, but transfer proof. So let's try it. It's in the shade Wicked. Oh, oh, oh. It's totally you, Todd. They're gonna swear at. Man. I feel like some Christmas. Obsessed with the color. We'll see how it wears. I'm gonna eat in a second. Um, but yeah, it's not a matte liquid lipstick. So, interesting. I'm gonna let it dry down first and then I will see if it transfers. But yeah, I'm actually going to eat really quick and then I am going to make a Christmas cocktail. While I was out earlier, I got some ingredients to make a cocktail. So not chef stuff quite, but cocktail stuff. So I am of course going to have a factor meal. Uh, this is one that I've been dying to try, the truffle mac and grilled beef filet. I tried the truffle filet and it was amazing. Like I can't even believe how good it was for a pre-packaged meal. So this is the truffle mac and cheese and the ones like in the black container are either usually like the gourmet or the protein plus. So protein plus means it has 30 grams of protein or more and that's something that I'm kind of prioritizing these days. Uh, just trying to get as much protein as I can instead of like counting calories, I'm more so like focus on protein and it keeps me a lot fuller. So I'm gonna heat this up really quick. And if you're familiar with any of my videos, you know that I'm a huge fan of Factor, especially like the past year or so, since having a baby, since being pregnant, it's just been so clutch to not have to worry about meal prepping or going to the grocery store if it's like bad weather or I'm too busy with the baby. Um, they deliver fresh, never frozen meals right to your door. They taste super good. Um, they're really nutritious options. Like I said, uh, I'm having one of the Protein Plus meals, but they also have uh, keto meals, uh, calorie smart meals. If you are trying to watch your calorie intake, they just have a lot of different variety and there's like no like prep or anything required. You just pop it in the microwave for like two minutes, heat it up and then you're good to go. Boom, it's already done. Uh, but yeah, definitely keeping my fridge stocked, especially during the holiday season because who wants to go to the grocery store or who wants to cook a meal when you have all these different like holiday functions that you need to be going to. Uh, so I'm gonna eat this and then we will make the cocktail. You would think like a steak in a meal like this would be like really tough and chewy and dry, but it's honestly not at all. So I, I don't know how they do it, but I'm gonna finish this up and of course I have a deal for you guys. You can go to factor75.com or click the link below and use my code STEFLETTA50 to get 50% off your first factor box. The winter wonderland vibes are really coming through. I don't know if you can tell how windy it is by the deer with broken legs. I think it's like 30 mile per hour winds right now. My mom is here with Noelle. Rose is here, and we're gonna make our drink. All right, so for this winter Aperol spritz, you're gonna need, you guessed it, Aperol, which if you're not familiar, it's kind of like a bitter citrus liqueur. Prosecco, um, look how cool this bottle is. I'm not sure how you say that. I'm not even gonna try, but it's a very pretty bottle. So we got that. Um, you can use club soda or any kind of sparkling water. This is Perrier. This is kind of optional if you don't want as much alcohol. You can add this to kind of spritz it up. And then cranberry juice. You're gonna need a sprig of rosemary. I had to get this poultry blend, which I'm pretty sure is to stuff a turkey, but it's all they had was rosemary. And then an orange. So, super easy and hopefully it tastes good. So we're gonna do three ounces of the Aperol, Aperol. I don't know what's the correct way. Nobody knows. Three of that, three 
of the Prosecco. Was that three? Oh my god, I'm not even paying attention. Three or four, because I, I honestly lost count. One ounce of cranberry. Two ounce of cranberry. Because I like more cranberry. And I want it to be more red. And then let's do, I don't know. Two the sparkling. Use my rosemary to stir it. I knew I was forgetting something. Ice. How did I forget the ice? So here they are. I made another one um, off camera. I can't believe like how rusty I am at making cocktails. I haven't made one in like two years <laughs> seems like. recommend my own drink let's try this one did i make them the same <laughs> this is the worst vlog ever i added more cranberry and it's better but for the first time ever presentation is there but the taste is not usually it's the opposite like it looks gross but it tastes amazing this i don't know it's not doing it for me so I'll give you guys a little Christmas tour. There's a lot of random baby stuff. <laughs> uh, but that's just my life. So the dining room table kept it simple. I really wanted to do place settings, but I feel like they're just going to be covered in dust and dog hair. So I think maybe next year I'll spring for like a runner or something, but just kept it nice and simple. Then over here, I think this is my favorite little corner. I got this, um, like, what do you call this? Like sheet music from Kirkland's. Obviously, it's the first Noel. So I put that under one of our sconces and this uh, nutcracker. So this is actually from Home Depot and it was like bright red and green. And um, Tommy spray painted it this really nice, like, antique brass color. And it was only like $60. There's so many nutcrackers that I'm sure you guys have seen that were like hundreds and hundreds of dollars or just like sold out everywhere or just like really big. I didn't want like a 10 foot nutcracker, okay? So then we just have like our thing for our wood. And then this is our mantle. I don't have the real fire going because Honestly, I don't really know how to start a fire, <laughs> but we have the um, Netflix fire going. Over here we have David <laughs> on his dog beds. I don't have anything here furniture wise. There's a cabinet. Oh, hi Des. There's a cabinet that I've been wanting to get, but I don't know if I should get the cabinet or if we should just do like a built-in situation. It's not like super big. So I don't know, but yeah, this is our mantle. I just did lots of like red velvet ribbons and I layered a few pieces of garland. And then I got a few um, stockings. I think these are from Home Goods and Target and then some Amazon bells. Lots of Christmas pillows, blankets, all that jazz then obviously we have the tree so i was able to get the viral home depot tree i didn't even know it was viral until you guys told me it was viral i just had this in my cart for a while because um it was actually a pretty good price for a 12 foot tree so our ceilings i think are 16 feet and so i did not want want one going all the way to the top because i obviously didn't even decorate this one so <laughs> I think maybe next year, but I honestly feel like it just looks so pretty with nothing on it because there's just, there's not even one bare spot because there's so many lights and um, you really do not have to fluff it at all and there's like no bare spots. So I think next year I will actually decorate it. Then over here is our kitchen. 
that's incorrect i don't even know how many days i think it's like 12 or something not sure but i didn't do a whole lot in the kitchen we've got some christmas cookies over there and then i just put this wreath which actually is from walmart and i took off the bow that it came with and added the same velvet ribbon so then in our just like mudroom entry i just added this little baby tree from target again with the velvet ribbon and then we'll show you guys the staircase um i don't like super love the garland that i have it needs to be layered but dude i don't know why no one's talking about how much people are spending on all of this garland because each one is so expensive so um yeah these are from amazon and they're actually pre-lit so i think next year i'll just maybe add another or get like a different kind to like mix in there but it's just kind of like a nice like soft simple drape like nothing like extravagant but again i added the bows and i think it just makes everything look really just like pretty with the bows and i think everyone knows that bows are like super trendy this christmas so i just did up the stairs and all the way through there and then in here is the green room which little scrawny he made it to the new house and he finally got decorated so we have our little train around the tree if you remember our, my old vlogmas videos this is the same train um i did like a little dark green blanket as a tree skirt and then i got all these really nice shatterproof ornaments from walmart so like this it's plastic but it looks like glass really pretty like finial ornaments these little acrylic and gold nutcrackers and then um these like really pretty like they're almost like a matte finish but it comes with burgundy um brown like dark grays and it just felt like it really went with the vibe of the room and i should turn the light on in here for you guys this room isn't fully finished but um we added some built-ins and we haven't like fully styled them but just added some books that tommy bought literally three or four years ago because he wanted to put them on a bookshelf and we didn't own a bookshelf <laughs> so now we finally have bookshelves and so we've got his chess table i just got this coffee table um, I don't know if I love it, but it's fine. Still waiting on uh, a love seat I ordered, but it's fine because once the tree is down, then the love seat will go here. But I got these really nice chairs from Target, and I really just love this room. We're adding cabinet doors to the bottom, but it's just so cozy, and you guys know I love green, so definitely the Christmas room. So that's going to wrap up the 2023 holiday home tour i've got my drink that's not really that good mom do you want to try this drink sure. <laughs> maybe you'll like it i don't know i follow the recipe that i saw on google Is it sweet? no so it's a cranberry winter aperol spritz mm. but if you've never had a regular aperol spritz i don't know yeah. but i think there was too much aperol it's good you think it's good? Maybe it, maybe it's better now that the ice melted a little bit. It's nice. I don't know if you heard her, but she likes to growl now. <laughs> Standing, growling, crawling, <laughs> cruising. If you're wondering what I do all day, it's this. Train goes off the tracks. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. 